Today we'll be taking a look at the CoreFX by Immerse. This is designed by Sherry R. Afshar, who's this professor of physics, very, very smart guy, and he engineered this thing to hit you at the core while you're playing games or movies. And speaking of core, you got down into the core issues and <laughs> spoke with him and got to find out what went into making this product. Absolutely. So we're going to show everyone out there Sean's interview with the maker of the CoreFX. I'm here with Sheriar Afshar in the studio. Thank you for joining us today. Absolute pleasure. It's We don't get a lot of people in the studio, so it's great to actually be able to do the interview here. Thank you. And we are a sim racing show. We're high on technology, but you're maybe the smartest person we've ever had on the show. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're, you're I, very kind. <laughs> I understand you're a professor of physics. Correct, yes. And how does that take us to being here talking about sim racing today? In a very roundabout way. Um, uh, I'm a controversial physicist at that. Uh -huh. uh, I did an experiment at Harvard University in 2004. Okay. It killed 80 years of quantum mechanics. It made a lot of hoopla. Uh -huh. And uh, there were hundreds of, uh, you know, literally it ended up being hundreds of thousands of web pages talking about it. And many of our colleagues writing papers against it and for it and all that. And uh, as a visiting professor at a university, mm -hmm. I was, uh, it was summertime, I had to respond to all these papers that the colleagues were writing, and I was intensely focused on that job. Uh, they gave me this temporary housing with a lot of the students around. Okay. And the kids were playing a lot of different games. Uh -huh. and well, that's normal. That's, <laughs> that's college. That's, that's college, and it's <laughs> summer. So um, that, that's perfectly fine. But they never stopped. Mm -hmm. And it was constant rumbling, especially during the weekends, then I had to concentrate on writing these papers. Uh -huh. And I would ask the kids, please, you know, calm it down a little bit. They stopped for an hour or so, uh -huh. and they came back again. Okay. So I started uh, knocking on their doors and harassing them, and that didn't work well. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, I decided, you know, instead of wanting to kill one of these kids, I should invent something uh -huh. that uh, allowed them to enjoy what they were getting out of that base. Uh -huh. And so I started this research, like I do with all my other projects, like a scientific research. And I ended up with this product that you will see, <laughs> that essentially is uh, a combination of physics, neuroscience, and the biggest discovery I made throughout this whole process was now there is a new genre, there is a new, um, essentially, paradigm in electronics. All right, okay, so I'm, a, uh, I'm kind of bright, but not that bright. I'm a little <laughs> lost here, so I'm going to back you up a little bit. Sure. You're at college, it's the thunderous booms, these guys playing shooters, and it's driving you nuts. Yes. And that's what led to this step. To this, right, so the initial stage was, well, what is in the base that they love so much, mm -hmm. right? So it started th that way. So I started putting all of these things together, and Ultimately, I ended up with this really, really important, essentially, discovery mm -hmm. that the brain gets self-acclimated to what your body is doing. Okay. Okay, so let, let's do this exercise together. Put your hands like this, upper right and left corners of your chest, like that. Say something out loud, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. There you see. You feel those vibrations up there? Yes. Those vibrations are being constantly monitored by your brain. There is something called the limbic system in the corner of, uh, in the center of your uh, brain that monitors all these vibrations. As you grow up, it associates, because this vibration only happens when you do the tunnel, mm -hmm. right? If I do it, your chest doesn't vibrate. Right. No, so I that don't. part of the brain associates this pattern of vibration with the body that it belongs to. Okay. So the technology that we have essentially mimics what your voice cord does up here in terms of vibration that's produced within your chest cavity by these two little transducers. Okay. So basically, as you put this on, like that, right? In sync with the audio that you're hearing, these little vibrators vibrate. Okay. And produce this pattern that the brain interprets as, oh, it's me. Because what? The self-centers are being activated. Right, like, like when you, we talk like, like you, this. Like, like, exactly. So you immediately internalize the experience. Mm -hmm. All right, that's cool. It's surprisingly powerful. For I mean, little thing like that. Yeah, <laughs> How much I was not. Huh? How much shaking is going on? Quite a bit. I mean, it it just it resonates through you, and I can see. Um, 
there was a, a an article written that said it can generate emotions. Right. And I can I, absolutely because that's you can feel like like anything music and, and it's really cool. It's very difficult. Yeah. He's having difficulty it's, explaining. It's it hard to express because it's it. extremely difficult to explain. Although the power here is less than one watt. That was my the, next question. Exactly. It's very, very weak. Uh -huh. But the experience is extremely intense. Okay. Because you feel um, uh, as though, you know, stuff not only is happening to you, the emotional parts of the brain the, in the limbic system are also activated. So it becomes a lot more real and a lot more immediate. Okay. Or it kind of strikes your core. It strikes right in the middle of your existence, yourself. Hence the name, the core effects. Core effects. <laughs> of course, core effects is a scientific name. K O R means kinetic omnidirectional resonance. Okay. And it sounds cool, so we just put it, it in there. It just worked like that. It just worked out. Yes. Okay. Now, what drives the mechanism? Is that the right wording for it? Mechanism. Absolutely. Yes, <laughs> that's correct. Well, it's thankfully audio driven, mm -hmm. so it's essentially universal. You can use this with any product that has an audio out. Okay. It could be an iPod, iPad, console, you know, DVD players, laptops. And so essentially all you need to do is just plug it in like that mm -hmm. to the audio jack. And okay. the other side, it could be an RCA input or uh, as I said, headphone jack. Right. And it takes the information in. Now, whatever we have in there does the magic in terms of turning that sound that's coming in and picking out what we call events, uh -huh. and consider certain things as events. And those events are set up here, and all of a sudden, um, if you're driving a car and there is a little bump on the road, you actually feel that bump. Okay. And it sort of produces this effect that you feel is happening to your entire body. But the great thing about this technology is, uh, it's upgradable. Okay. That is to say, we will have firmware upgrades for everything that we need to add on to it later on. So, so there are games that um, are, as I said, they're perfect for this. Uh -huh. And there are some games that are not really designed for this. And what kind of difference would I, I mean, if I'm just using a generic game or a Core Plus 4? Right, that, right. Well, so Core Plus 4 is going to give you a consistent experience. Mm -hmm. You're going to actually enjoy it mm -hmm. while you're using it. Uh -huh. The non-Core Plus 4 ones are the ones that you, you need to probably adjust. Okay. The audio on it and do things like that. Okay. In future, however, we are going to have certain games that are called core enabled. Those are games that have incorporated our algorithm and a special track within the actual audio. Okay. And for those games, you don't have to worry about just as soon as you see the you know core sign on that bug on the uh, actual uh, packaging. You're all set. That's got to be a fantastic experience. Wow. Now, you mentioned this will work with anything with an output, uh, audio output. Correct. Watching a movie, playing a game. Are, am I going to have a different kind of experience when I switch from gaming to a movie or even from one type of game to another? I mean, does it always work the same? If you're listening to music, if you want to jump up and down, this will make you start you know, dancing. Uh -huh. You know, it, it intensifies the actual content, whatever it is. Okay. If it's a sad movie you're watching, it makes you cry. I mean, it magnifies those types of things. Mm -hmm. So, so for example, in first-person shooter games, um, if you're getting a shot at from, say, the right-hand side, this transducer on the right-hand side is activated more than the okay. on, on like left. stereo speakers. Exactly. So you would know that you're getting hit at that direction. The amazing thing is, your brain actually interprets all the signals that are coming in, although they are stereo, but your brain projects it to 360 degrees around you. You can actually feel stuff happening behind you. You almost like, where is this thing? You turn around, right? And there's a tank. So, so that's how it works. Now, the little is the box. What do we want to call that magic box there? This is a control box. <laughs> okay. Corefers cor control. Box. What's powering this? I mean, it seems like it would take a lot of power to keep this thing running. Not really. It's, it's actually, as I said, it's less than one watt. It uh -huh. takes uh, four AAA batteries, and it lasts for uh, 46 hours of actual use. And uh, you can, in fact, if you want to power through a USB port, you can power through that port. Uh -huh. And uh, you wouldn't need your batteries, it would bypass your batteries. So as a sim racer, will I be able to actually tailor which effects I'm looking for, whether it's engine noise or rumble strips? Right. So there are actually settings that you can actually set to what you want to experience. Okay. And uh, th there is a general setting that, as I said, there is the audio, all audio. And uh -huh. there is another one you can actually adjust for the infrasound, okay. the parts of the actual uh, stuff that's happening on the road, the bumps, and all that stuff. Just that, you can actually dial into that. 
customized for that. That's Absolutely. fantastic. Well, it's very hard not to compare this to other shaker devices. Of I'm, gonna, I'm sure you've tried some of those out. Of you know that technology. Yes. I'm going to say they're different technology. Yeah. How do you think they compare? Uh, I think every every technology has its place in the industry, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I personally love some of those. Uh, the reality, however, is uh, there is a, um, a substantive difference between this experience and anything else that you've experienced. Uh -huh. And the reason for that is because while the other stuff is cool, this is based on science. This is not some you know, cool thing that we wanted to implement into, um, uh, you know, any existing material. Uh -huh. This is something that uh, uh, is based on serious, serious, you know, five, six years of R&D uh -huh. and, you know, many decades of research into neuroscience and how it works. And so the effect is that much more intense and uh, expandable. Okay, now you took ours away. Are they available? Can I get one yet? <laughs> Yes, they are available. Let me uh, tell you this. These things are selling like hotcakes. So we have to be um, careful about not over-promising everybody. Mm -hmm. But if they pre-order the product, they're guaranteed receiving a unit. Okay. And so the way we do it is we are accepting pre-orders now for shipment in February. Okay. And uh, the uh, address, the web page that they should go to is www.immerz.com. Okay. And the, the price point is $189.99. That's actually very affordable. Thank you, that's right. We, we actually thought long and hard about that, and we find it that because there's such huge demand, we want it to be a mainstream product and available to all. Mm -hmm. So, hence the, the price. So you mentioned available to all. This has sort of become an issue on our show. We're seeing all these great products. Uh, is this really to everybody in the world? What's your distribution gonna be? Well, initially it's going to be United States, Canada, Germany, uh, UK and uh, we are expanding that the second half of next year to other parts of the world. So you mentioned that there are firmware updates. When I buy this, as you bring more games online, is that the way it'll work? I'll plug it in and it'll kind of update those? Right, so there are different ways of doing this. So the, the initial way is the upgrade of the firmware in the actual device, that you would get upgrades from us that allows you to sort of add the additional little secret sauce that we put into the effects. Mm -hmm. The important other step is once we have core enabled games available to you in the market, you don't really have to worry too much about those codes anymore because those games already have those codes embedded in them. Okay. That's so you would enjoy it without, without easy. that much upgrading. Absolutely. So, I mean, it's very well developed, but very easy for us to use on our end. That's correct. I mean, we, we decided that we want to make it a plug and play device that is as simple as just put it in there, connect it to your system, turn it on, and make it work. And thankfully, we've been able to pull it off. Yeah, and we're gonna plug it in and get to do some more of that. Absolutely. All right, Absolutely. well, I really appreciate you coming into the studio. My pleasure. It's been a pleasure talking to you. I love the Core FX. I can't wait to have my own and really give it a good run. Thank you, and uh, uh, having seen all the rig that you guys have, I may actually turn into a sim racer myself. We're working on it. We're gonna keep getting you over here until you are a sim racer. It will be my pleasure. All right, thanks Thank a lot. you. Thank you, guys.